Now we're going to show you how to terminate Belden's mini RGB cable, which also has the code number 1279P with a BNC connector. Before we get started, I'd just like to point out that this is Belden's new 1279P mini RGB cable. And what we've actually done is gone ahead and made this cable out of plenum PVC now, so it's really nice and flexible. It's a little bit darker of a color than our previous 1279P. Um, we think this is a really good cable. People are really going to like it out in the marketplace. So to start with, as you know, the 1279P or mini RGB cable has actually five mini coaxes inside of it. And since you don't put the connector on the outside jacket, what you actually do is terminate on the inside jacket. We need to make sure that those, those ja this outer jacket is stripped off. To prep this cable, you want to make sure you go ahead and strip the outer jacket off because as you can see, we're going to be terminating those inner coaxes in there. You want to be real careful because this 1279P does have that softer jacket. So the best way to do it is if you have a piece of the, of the strip, the rip cord, you can go ahead and grab it and pull it down and it'll actually make a cut right through the outer jacket as you can see and you just peel that outer jacket back. If you don't have a piece of that rip cord that you can access, you need to be very careful and advise your customers also to be very careful to just score it very, very lightly because you don't want to cut into the in these inner jackets because that will affect the signal of the cable. So you see here we've got RGB, red, green, blue, and horizontal and vertical. So as we mentioned before on all the other connections that we've made, we want to make sure we have a good perpendicular cut. And we're going to achieve that by just cutting a little bit off the extra end there at a 90 degree angle and making sure that we have that in place. Now that we have our perpendicular cut, we're ready to strip our connector. We'll go ahead and use our Belden RGB strip tool, which is different than our standard RG69 and F strip tool, <clears throat> RG59 and 6 strip tool. And it's different because it has a lighter spring. And it also has the words RGB written right on the side there. The preparation of the cable is a little bit different because of the small nature of these RGB cables. We're going to go ahead and insert the cable into the strip tool and it'll hit that stopper and we're going to release the jaws. But instead of two to three turns, which you would normally do on a RG6 or an RG59, we're just going to do one to one and a half turns depending on the size of the cable you're stripping. So one, one. We'll get it all the way around and we'll apply a little bit of pressure to the cable, pull it right off. Similar to the others, you're going to see there might be a, a strand that touches the center conductor, but what you want to do is go ahead and fold that braid back. On these mini RGBs, again, it's very you have to be very careful because they are such a small cable, and it, but it's really important to get this braid back. You don't want to really lose any strands when you're stripping. Um, with an RG59 or an RG6, you have a, a big, bigger margin of error. But you, on these cables, you really need to have all the strands down and part of that compression. So we're going to go ahead and check the check to make sure that we've got everything pulled down and, and folded over evenly again because it is still a 360 degree compression. Oh, I see, I got a strand there. So we'll go ahead and fold it down to make sure that they're all in place leave the foil intact oh, there's one more strand there I'm trying to get okay got it alright everything is ready to go next we'll grab our we're gonna use a BNC connector this time for our mini which is an orange for our 1279P same deal we've got a non-blind entry on the back end insert the center conductor into that connector you're gonna go ahead and slide it down and you can actually feel it now it'll hit the the dielectric will hit that bumper there and then you'll start sliding the center pin on the connector. It'll slide right into place and you'll keep going. And you can actually, I think you could hear that click that time, but you can really feel that click in place and that what will happen is then you'll see that, that center pin will pop right up. The next step is to go ahead and take your compression tool, which is our standard Belden compression tool with the handle. Same tool used for all these styles of connectors open the handle, pull, a, pull the first set of jaws down with your thumb, the second set with your index finger, and we'll go ahead and insert this connector all the way down inside. And you can, at this point you can release the jaws, and then you want to make sure that this 
this connector is pushed right and seated firmly onto that spring. Okay, connector's in place, cable's in place, and then we'll go ahead and compress. Bottom it out all the way down, release, push both the jaws in, and you'll, you'll be able to free that, that cable from that centerpiece, and you'll pull it right out, and you've got a perfectly terminated RGB BNC connection.